Hi, welcome to Glaze Watermelon. In this episode, we're going over the easiest way to set up the Sega Model 2 and Sega Model 3 emulators on your Steam Deck. We will be showing off some gameplay and providing some tips and tricks to make your Steam Deck emulation setup even better. So without further ado, let's get into it. We begin with the Emudeck. Emudeck is an amazing piece of software that will take care of configuring all your emulators on the Steam Deck. But first, we have to switch to desktop mode by pressing the Steam Deck button and going to power and selecting switch to desktop. For this next part, we recommend that you connect the keyboard and mouse to your Steam Deck, as this will make everything much easier to work with. We use the Logitech MX Keys Mini and the Razer Orochi V2 lightweight mouse. Amazon affiliate links down below if you're interested in any of these two. Once in desktop mode, open Firefox and navigate to emudeck.com. Select Downloads and choose the Steam OS option. You will get a warning that the downloaded file must be placed in the desktop for this to work. Go into the Downloads folder and move the file to the desktop and double click it. Click Continue and wait for the welcome screen to appear. In the setup screen, select Custom Mode. Next, choose where you want to store your games. We chose the SD card in this step. Then, select Steam Deck as your device. Choose the emulators you want to install. Make sure the Sega Model 2 and Model 3 emulators are highlighted. Afterward, you will get asked about several custom options, like if you want bezels or if you want to install a front end. We suggest that you install Emulation Station Desktop Edition as it helps organize your ROMs in a single place. Please note that if you already have Emudeck installed, you only have to go into the Manage Emulator options and click on the Model 2 or Supermodel Emulator for Model 3. Then press Install. And that's it for the installation. Now for Model 2 games, go into the Emulation folder. The most common location is in your SD card. Depending on how you set up your Emudeck, then go into ROMs, Model 2, ROMs, and place your games in there. For Model 3 games, go into Emulation, ROMs, Model 3, and just place them in there. There is no specific ROM folder for Model 3 games. For both Model 2 and 3, your games must be in ZIP or 7-ZIP format. The cool thing is, you do not have to configure controls for each game or set directories and resolutions like before if you wanted to have Model 2 and Model 3 games on your Steam Deck. This is just as easy as it gets. Now we have two routes to take at this time. The first one is setting up your games with Steam ROM Manager. Steam ROM Manager allows you to get artwork for all your games and places them in a Steam Deck game mode menu. To make this happen, just open the Steam ROM Manager from the Emu Deck menu. Click yes to the warning and choose the systems you want to parse. In this case, Sega Model 2 and Model 3. Next, press preview and then parse. You will notice that not all games have been parsed or that some are repeats of each other. This is just something that will hopefully be fixed with future updates. For now, click Save to Steam if you are happy with this setup. The alternative to this is installing Emulation Station Desktop Edition from the Emulator section on Emudeck and using it to manage all your emulated games. Emulation Station displays all your emulators and games. Additionally, you can scrape your games with a bit more precision and in our opinion, keeps things a lot more organized in your Steam Deck. Either way you want to go is okay. Now let's just show off all these beautiful Model 2 and Model 3 games running in all their glory and portable form. We haven't experienced any big issues with any games. Most of them run at 60 FPS with a minor skip here or there. Oh, how we miss the phenomenal golden era of Sega Arcade games.
And now for some tips. To exit back to the emulation station menu, you can press the Steam Deck button, highlight the game that is running, and press X to close the window. In Model 3 games, you can also press the Steam Deck button plus left on the D-pad to send an escape command to the emulator. This did not work for us in the Model 2 emulator. Even pressing start and select at the same time did not close the Model 2 emulator. So if you know of another way for us to do this, please do us a favor and comment below. An issue that we encountered was that some games were not running on the Model 3 emulator. It seems there are some incompatible ROMs or ROMs that have missing files and this causes an issue with the default configuration. To fix this, go into Dolphin File Manager, click the hamburger menu and choose Show Hidden Files. Navigate to the .supermodel, then to Config folder. Inside, you will find a file called games.xml. Make a backup of this file by copying and pasting it into another folder. Now go back to the original file. Right click and select Open with Kwrite. Next, edit the file by searching for the game that is not working. Press Ctrl F and write the title of the game that is not working. In this example, we are looking for Star Wars. Scroll down slowly and look for the region tag that has the name driveboard underscore program. Delete this entire tag and save. Your game should now run. A full write-up is available on our site, glazedwatermelon.com. For those who want a more detailed explanation of the process, finally, the controls for light gun games are mapped to the right trackpad for both aiming and firing by pressing on the trackpad. The left trackpad is used for reloading. In some games, the left trackpad or the left joystick are also used for aiming. That's it for this video, but before we go, we have a special short announcement. We want to say thank you for 200 subscribers we had a couple weeks ago. We really appreciate it. Continue to click the like button, subscribe, thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.